for sciences. And okay, I'm waiting for my representation. Yeah, and okay, try. And my topic is about an AI based wild animal detection system and its application. And I found an interesting thing in this session. Yeah, and many uh, presentations are about the specimen, but my, uh, my uh, presentation is about how to collect biodiversity data in a uh, wild environment. Yeah. And this is my uh, outline. Okay. And uh, firstly, biodiversity data is uh, becoming more and more important. And big biodiversity data and AI uh, are driving the paradigm of biodiversity research. And uh, biodiversity data have to uh, answer the question about how many and what species we have and where we can find them and how to get the biodiversity data in wild uh, environment. I think a uh, field survey is still uh, important, play, playing important role uh, in this field. And some measurements about uh, auto detection have been developed, uh, including the satellite aircraft and some camera trap, sound recorder, and so on. And, and there are still some problems, uh, firstly, the way to harvest biodiversity data uh, are still mainly conducted uh, manually, and many uh, a large amount of power, manpower invested, but limited data have been produced. And we need uh, more intelligence sensors like sound sensors, and uh, to detecting lot uh, for detecting larger range of animals like uh, rather than only infrared uh, trigger camera. And I think more accurate uh, AI models are required for the wild environment. Uh, yeah. And finally, many uh, protected lands are re remote and no network, no uh, power results in no automatic detection application. So um, our project is to uh, create and verify the uh, complete technique chain to establish sustainable detection uh, system. And uh, next is about uh, our methods and the software. And uh, fortunately, we have uh, created a large database uh, for Chinese species, including uh, Catalog Live China and labeled image databases and label the animal sound database. Uh, all the data can be chained for AI uh, classification models. Yeah, and also the, uh, we combine the multiple features or multiple data like image and sound and video and the map distribution map of the species together to, for training AI-based species identification uh, model and to uh, produce the joint result. And we have de developed a software uh, so we can recognize video and the sound, yeah, uh, and, and the sound together at the same time. Yeah, it, this is the mount model output and the visualization tool. And this is the framework of our detection system from the sensors, like sound sensors, uh, with the sensors, image captures, and the network. Sometimes we have to build uh, networks, and all, all the uh, data, sound, video, are uh, uh, recognized by our models, like sound models, video models, and then all the data are stored in data platform. And this is the uh, video sensor, and it's suitable for detecting uh, big water birds in open waters. Yeah, and it can scan around and it support for 5G, a local area network, and it also support solar energy, yes. And this is the uh, sound sensors. 
and we have two style. One is has edge computing, and the other one has not edge computing. And it's suitable for detecting bursts, uh, trapping incest and frost, and so on. Yeah, and about network, uh, we have a we adopted a mixture mi mixed strategy. When we the five G or four G is available, we use the existing networks. But in the uh, protected areas, uh, far from city, we build a local area network for the detection system. And and this one is the local. The, the local signal base station. Yeah, and this is the uh, platform, data platform, and it's, can, we can see that the, all the sensors on the map, where we have deployed, and the, how many species we have detected, and how many records we have get. Yeah, it's in Chinese, I can, I did not transfer. Yeah, okay. And, okay, I want to, uh, so some cases we apply the uh, detection system. This one is for monitoring birds in Beijing, and we have built a local area network for remote protected area. Yeah, and yeah, it's a hard job. We have to yeah uh, carry the machine uh, by cropping the mountains and the middle image shows where the uh, signal stations we have. It, it, it tablets and this one is the, the real signal uh, signal station yeah and uh, we deploy the camera sound sensors radio sensors and environmental sensors in the uh, range covered by sen uh, my signals yeah and uh, this page shows uh, the result of one of the sound detector and you can see we have how many records how many species belonging to how many species here is uh, 190 species we have detected and we also can see the record curve species curve and how the species uh, the activity curve yeah and the checklist of the detected species here and uh, fortunately we have catched uh, the first quarter in uh, this year for the Indian cuckoo. And yet, this record is the first record in Beijing and filling get the gaps of the phonology of this species, yes. And, and this shows some uh, interesting uh, video, yeah. And this one uh, is a fast moving uh, bird it catching a face. And, and this one, we can see that uh, multi, uh, many, many individuals and are catched and recognized, and we can count how many individuals in this video. Yes. And okay, uh, based on the detection data, we can create a dynamic, dynamic heat map of Beijing maps. Okay, it, it uh, not just on the detection data, also compile the uh, citizen science data and so on. Yeah, and the, the, the second case is about a mobile card. We move all the uh, sensor and in, incorporate the sensor into a car and our detection system in the car and, okay. Oh, no work. Is it possible to play yeah. the video? Okay, yeah. it's so how it works. Yeah, it can it can detect the vegetation. Yeah, and then the animals. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I. I. Okay. Next. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you can see the image that is the car, a uh, mobile car. Okay. Thank you. And it can scan the uh, vegetation along the road and rebuild a uh, 3D vegetation structure. And this one is for the bird detection uh, using sound sensor on the car. And 
in a day, we uh, we collect more than one or twelve thousand records belonging to sixty uh, seventy six bird species. Yes, this one is for the detect uh, more mammal detection using high performance camera on our card. Yes, it's all about my presentation. And next step is about how to develop more sensors and models for various species such as marine species, insects, and we can also incorporate our, our more mobile devices into our detection system. And then we can extract more data from detected images and videos and even the sound data. Yeah. Okay, thank you for your attention. Thank you. That was so interesting, thank you. Um, does anyone in the room have questions? Are there questions online? Um, so your system, is it actually providing you with real-time data? Yes. Wow, <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> very, very impressive. And um, so you have kind of focused it on things that are moving and animals and so on. Are you also thinking about plant detection? And Yeah, I'm, I come from the Institute of Geology. So <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I come from the Institute of Geology, so I focus on... Uh, Animals, yeah, but uh, plants. I have no 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 plan to do that. Yeah, actually, you you kind of are because you have the um the birds eating the fruit, and you are you are able to identify the fruit that they are eating, and so on. So in a way, yeah, yeah. What do you do about dealing with like power and like battery recharging of your sensors that are super remote? Power, power, like um, making sure that um, it stays powered on. Okay, okay, solar, okay. solar power, yeah. Sorry, okay. I, I just wanted to sign up for one of the vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, actually, what do you do when, like, you have snow? Because you you have quite a lot of snow around Beijing, I think, right? You have snow, you have uh, extreme yeah, weather, yeah, yeah. and the sensors are still working through the winter. Because it looked like you had them up for maybe three months or so. Do you keep them running for a long longer period? Yeah, yeah, it, uh, it's a good question. And yes, snow will affect the the uh, detection uh, job and. Because the solar, uh, the solar energy is affected by the uh, snow, so they, they will don't work in winter. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Are there no other questions? Then um, the last we were supposed to have a discussion session now, but um, Margot, who was supposed to present uh, in an earlier session in a previ previous day, was not able to present. So we are going to try to um, play her presentation now. Yeah. Um, so, uh, oh, that's very unfortunate. But wait, it should be, I think it should be day, f so it's not on today? Yeah, there we go. 